What does that even mean, Bowers Game Corner? Ahoy there, YouTube! We're back again today for another live gameplay video, playing with my lovely wife, Melina. Hello! And we're going to be playing the new Rise of the Tribes from Breaking Games, coming out, I believe, sometime this summer from uh, Brad Brooks, who's the creator of... Uh, 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 Letter Tycoon. Letter Tycoon, a game we really enjoy. But we're going to be playing this right now. We just read through the rules, so we might make a rules mistake here or there. We might have to consult the rules, but you'll probably pick it up as we go because it seems like it's a pretty straightforward game. So we've got the game set up. We're playing on the uh, beginner's version of the game because you can play with an advanced version of the game, which makes it a little bit more asymmetrical. But since it's our first time, we are playing with the advanced version or the beginner's version of the game. Uh, so it is an area control game where you're going to be trying to build villages and be the first person to gain 15 points in an action selection mechanism that actually seems really interesting, but you'll see it as we do it. Uh, you want to go first or you want me to go first, dear? No, you can go first. All right. So randomly choose a starting player. That player places two of their tribe members on a single hex of their choice. So... Uh, in order to build my villages, I'm going to need a lot of fish, so I am going to go to this lake right here and put, uh, yep, I'm going to put those right there. Since you're the second player, you're going to place three tribe members in one hex. So what I'm talking about here is actually at the bottom of this card right here, it will tell you what you need to build a village, and villages are good ways to get victory points. I need more uh, more trees, she needs more wood, so obviously... You need more fish. Uh, yeah, you need more wood, that's what I said. Uh, but anywho, You're let's welcome. get started. So the order of play, villages earn points. Uh, the villages are really cool little wooden things right here, I don't know if those are the they final components. They smell really good too. Yeah, that's because you spilled barbecue sauce on I them. know, they smell like wood. Uh, but we don't have any villages, so we skip that. And now I am going to roll two dice. So roll these two dice, and then I'm going to place these two dice on this action board over here. Oh, actually, we, we got an event, didn't we? Yeah, whenever you roll doubles, oh, yeah. an event is revealed. I haven't read any of these, so I'm excited. Uh, so, plentiful wood. Place six wood on this card. When a player gathers, they may also take two resources from this card for each forest hex producing. Oh, that's... That's great for you, dear. It is. So, uh... Fabulous. Look, you need one. Yeah, I do. Uh, so... I you, need three. Can you place six wood on there while I decide on my action? So, random event comes up. So here's how the action selection on this oh, game works. It's really story. quite interesting. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to move. So I'm going to take this dice right here, and I'm going to place it right there. <laughs> You're in the shot, dear. I don't care. Which means that's going to push this bottom dice right here. So instead of, uh, you know what? Yeah, we're gonna, that was a terrible move. Uh, so instead of moving four, like it says on there, since I have two suns, I would actually get to move six. But that's not, I only have two guys. So instead, I'm just going to do that. So I'm going to move one space. I'm going to choose not to move this space. Because it says in the rules, you can only move your players one uh, one space at a time. So even though I have six movements, I can't move this guy six space or this guy three and three. I could move both of them one. And I'm pretty content where I am right now. Actually, you know what? I will move this guy. So if you had six guys, you could move each of them one. Yes, that's exactly what I mean. So now that I'm completely done with that action, I would take my next action, which will be to gather. Because I want to get on some of that wood too. So that slides this dice right down don't here. don't you need three hexes? Uh, I can still gather just from two. So I get two hexes. Uh, since I have two hexes, I'm going to gain two resources from those two hexes. So I'm going to gain two wood, and I'm going to gain two fish. Now, how did this work up here? Uh, you, they may take two resources from this card for each force hex producing. Boom. So I will take these two right here, and that was a pretty nice little turn. I got four wood. I got two fish. My turn. Uh, take actions. Resolve conflicts. Conflicts only happen if you have at least five meeples on a spot, or excuse me, more than five meeples on a spot, which right now, not a problem. Build villages and reach goals. I, I don't have any goals out, which are these cards down here, which we'll see in a little bit. And I can't build villages, so my turn is up. So Melina would then go, and she doesn't score any points for the, for the villages. She rolls the two dice. And that was the first round. That actually went pretty briskly. So, she's got those two. She doesn't get an event card because she's not cool like me. Oh, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> You're so funny. Oh, uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> I am pretty funny. 
<laughs> By the way, question. Yes. Uh, gather. Gather. Says times two. Yeah. But you only get two resources? No, I'm pretty sure you get two and two. Uh, let me check, though. So gather. Obtain resources from the hexes you occupy as specified on the action board. In the action example, it indicates two hexes produce two resources each. Uh, this player could choose both of the two lakes they occupy for four food total, or they could have the lake and forest for two food and two wood. Okay, I got it. So yeah, we did that correctly. I just, I'm just questioning because in my mind it looks different than what you said was happening. So. Are you, have you been drinking? No. Lame. Alright, so she is going to grow... And normally she would go three, but since there's the two sons there, she gets four units. Uh, when it comes to growing, you have to put them on a spot where you already are, which you do realize... Oh, no, no, oh. you're fine. You're going to need to move them, though. You'll be fine as lo long as you move them. As oh, yeah, that's right. Because we don't do the conflicts until Later. afterwards, yes. And luckily for you, you're going to get to move six, which means she should be fine and not have any conflicts. Oh, but I guess since I'm over here, I only get to go to these two, huh? Yes. And she doesn't have to worry about conflicts, which is uh, good. So, resolve conflicts, build villages, and reach goals. You have neither of those, uh, and now it's my turn. So, I roll up the two dice. Oh! How do we get the goals? You get the goals by doing the lead, the lead where you draw cards. Right. That's right. Okay. So, rolling it up, and let's see what we got. I really want to get oh, on that who's wood. who's cool now? Uh, I kind of want to get that wood, Sorry. some more of that wood, but I don't know. Uh, da, 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 da. I, I really need to grow, too, don't I? Yeah. It would be helpful for you to have more than two people on the board. Don't care. I'm leading. I want to get some of these cards. So, uh, now I will show you these cards. My wife will not look at them. Actually, no, they're going to go face up, so it doesn't matter. So I get to draw three of these cards, and we'll see what happens. Make sure I'm doing this correctly. I, I shuffled them, by the way. Uh, draw the indicated number of goal cards and put it in progress on the left side of the player board. So, I have build an entire tribe. All tribe members are on the board. That will get me 20 points. Majority in forest. Majority in three forest hexes, which is going to be very difficult in a three-player game. And gather any six resources. Gather six or more of any resource in one turn without events. I already did that, stupid game. And you know what? I actually could do that again, and I will. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this action, which will allow me to bloop, put that down here and gather four resources, but because that event, I'm going to get six resources, and I'm just going to have just an insane amount of wood that I don't need at all. But... But it keeps me from getting it. It does keep you from getting it, and it's not completely a spiteful play, because now I'm going to gain two victory points during the build villages and reach goals phase, which resolve conflicts, no conflicts, which is right now. So I would actually, boom, get those two victory points, and jump down into first place. I still cannot build a village. I need to get some stone. So that should be on my to-do list. But that is my turn. I like how brisk this game goes. I need some resources. Man. I need some people. Trade you. I'll take I'll take all those off your hands, all the trees. Womp. Womp womp. Gets me a fat lot of nothing, doesn't it? Oh yeah. And that gather you were hoping to Gets me a whole lot of nothing. Okay. Well. Oh, and just one thing I did want to mention. Because somebody had to roll all sons. The events, uh, they can hold two events here, and if we ever get doubles when there's already two events here, we just ignore the doubles. So we completely carry out the event before we get new events. That goes for you and the audience, I guess. I don't know if you heard that part. Okay. Um. Well, the good news is you're not going to get any two sons. Alright, let's gather. For you. Oh, I might. Yeah. Womp. Okay, so I just get 
either uh, two wood. I get two two of anything, basically, right? Yes. Of well, no, you're going to get... two of them. Yes. So I can have two wood, two fish. Yes. Two wood for sure. And we'll do the stone. Alright. First action. Ooh, jumping on them cards. Alright. Gonna get three cards. Three cards. What cards are you gonna get? Oh, and I do want to mention, the cards are identical. Uh, so I, so I might go. just get them in different orders. Yes. Majority in mountains. Once again. Majority in three mountain hexes. Gonna be difficult. I don't know. Gather six or more of any resource in one turn. That one's super easy. Do I get those too? Did you take one? Oh, yeah, you did. I get those? Oh, which means I suppose you would complete that goal. Yeah. Oh, you. Love. Gather one additional resource per hex. So if you build that, then you will start doing that. Well, that's really cool. So you can build equipment in this oh, game. Oh, cool. And it'll also okay. get you a victory point in addition. So that's that's pretty nice as well. Okay, so I get this, right? Uh, yep, you're done with your actions. We don't have conflicts. So that is yours. You score two points on the track. Yay. Oh. And my turn. Roll it up. That is an event though so something exciting happens all right plentiful place six stone on this card when a player gathers they may also take two resources from this card for each mountain hex producing there's room for two oh yeah that is gone that is gone all right keep the stones on there i rolled two suns which is not ideal uh man oh but i can still grow hooray so i'm gonna grow up here which means i will still get four units so I will put uh, one, two, three, four. No, actually, yeah, we'll do that. No. Don't they all? They all have to go one to one. No, you can spread them out. No, you told me they all had to go one to one. No, I told you they all have to go in a spot that you have. Add the number of tribe members indicated by the action board from your supply to one or more hexes that already contain your tribe members. Oh, but I only had one spot. Well, yeah. I got it. Okay, never mind. So I added four, and now I am going to... Yeah, we'll go ahead and move. Boop! Move, which means I still get to move four, so we will go one, two. That was not the best plan, but hey, whatever. So that's my turn, and we are good. It's your turn, dude. Okay. Yeah, I don't score anything. Yes! <laughs> I rock. All right. Shared knowledge. Place any resource to draw. At the end of your turn, if you share a hex with an opponent, you may pay any resource to this card to draw one goal card. All right. So pay... What? No, no, no. At okay. the end of your turn, if you share a hex with an opponent... You may pay any resource to this card to draw one gold card. So if you share a spot with me, you I can... can pay a resource and I get a gold card. Yes. Which seems Meh. actually... I think it sounds pretty good. Meh. Okay. I like it. I think it's a good card, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not so much in a two-player game, but in a five-player game. Sucking up to Brad. A uh, four-player game, I should say. Um, so one thing I do want to mention is we are playing two players, so it adds more hexes if you're playing with more players. Also, I alluded to the fact that we're playing the beginner version of the game, and uh, if you're playing the advanced version of the game, then each tribe gets their own unique uh, special card, which makes it a little bit asymmetrical, which I'm excited to try pretty soon as well. Alright, what you going to do with those two blanks you're shooting? Alright, she is moving. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to gather. It's too late. I'm just... Alright. 
She's gathering. I'm going to guess stone is one of them. I'll have to get extra stone. Oh, I was going to go with trees. And get trees? No, yeah. I want fish. And since you suggested stone, that's a good idea because then I get more stone. Alright, she gets the stone. Yeah, it's just like the other one. All right, first action completed. Oh, I got another. Yep. <laughs> Two of them a turn. It's crazy, I know. It is. It's amazing. All right. Um... On a side note, while she's thinking, I do want to mention the rule booklet was uh, pretty nicely done. It headed us up and running pretty smoothly. I think maybe about what, 10, 15 minutes to figure everything out, grand total. Yeah, so, it didn't, didn't take us too long. Not bad at all. Grow. So we get three peats. Oh, he's doing a cartwheel. Right. Oh wait, have we been doing the village right? Oh man. What? You can build a village at any point on any tile as long as you have a person there. Well, it with, says build villages yeah, yeah, and reach during that goal, phase. But... During that phase. For some reason, I thought you had five people there. I would have built a village last time. Oh, wait, no, I couldn't. Just kidding. No, Just you don't kidding. have to have five people there. Yeah, that'd be stupid. Are you building a village? Yeah, I have enough. Look at all that. You barely have enough. No, I don't. You only have... Okay. Yeah. You barely have enough. What are you talking about? You have exactly... Well, wow. Okay, now what does the village do for me again? Alright, the village will gain oh, you get points, right? one victory point at the beginning of each turn. And it will allow you to uh, discard one of your goals that you already have uh, in order to draw another goal when you do the lead action. Now, the only way she can lose that village is if we go over there and have conflict, which... And I lose. Yes, and she loses. Which, highly unlikely, considering it's all the way on the other end of the board, which is why I'm probably going to put a village here as well. So, um, you know, complete the goals. Can I build that? How do I complete this goal? Uh, you say, during this phase, I want to complete this goal, then you pay. Can I just do that now? As long as you say, I want to complete this goal, and then you pay. <laughs> Yeah, so she has made basketry, which I did not know is a word. Basketry. Basketry. Potato, potato. So she gains one point, and from now on, gets more stuff. Wow, Yay. that's really good. Right? Yeah, super good. Uh, a little scary good. All right, so I got that. I should have done that before. Oh, man, I can't get the bonus on the gathering. Nope. But I still need to gather so I can build. So. Oh, I have it. Okay. What you had to know, I wasn't going to set you up. No, I, w I had a different thought run through my mind. More that's more along the lines of probably what goes through your head. Okay, well, good. That's probably strategy. So I also get these two here. Nope. Oh. <laughs> this is something that was just funny. All right, so I can almost build two villages. I need more fish, so I will indeed get more fish as well. So uh, that's my gathering. Now I'm going to, uh, I think I'm going to lead. Don't care, don't care, don't <laughs> correct me. <laughs> I'm going to draw uh, three cards on my lead. I'm going to lead. And, ooh, I got Majority in Three Mountains. That's garbage. As opposed to lead. Control all hex types. Control one <laughs> hex of each type, which I will accomplish. Bow, bow, bow. And a bow. Offense only. Remove one opponent before conflict. Uh, I don't know what the difference between offense and defense would be, but I like that. So, now I would get to the uh, resolve conflicts, which there is none. Offense, you're the one that attacked. Yeah, but how would you attack somebody? Like, just by putting Was your Was I there in? first? Yeah, I guess maybe that's it. You would I'm be sure the one attacking. And you know what? It was in the rules, and I just kind of glossed over that part. Uh, so now I Imagine score. That. So I control one hex of each type. Boom. Which, let me make sure I understood that. Control only the players 
tribe members are present on the hex, so I would get two points for that. Boom. And I will build a villages. So yeah, I will go ahead and actually I believe I can build two villages because I have four stone, two trees, and six fish. So I will build two villages. One here and one there. So I spend one, two, I spend all of this. Can't afford the bow, and that is my turn. Well, you only have trees. I got the trees while the trees were hot. So I'm going to need to make sure that you don't get all your guys up there. Oh, four points. Yeah, that's a good chunk of points. Yeah, it is. All right, so you'd score uh, a village. So you score one point for your village. And then you just go about your merry turn. So you just got two points. Okay. I will get two points. Or did you get two points already? Because you were in front of me. I... Did I move the wrong one? Uh, I got two points for completing the control of all hex types. Okay. I got it. No, I got it. It's so bad. It's so bad, it's good. Oh, look at that cool artwork. Handle it. They're squares for the dice. And you can't put them on it. What? Oh. Woohoo! And you don't even get an event. Kind of sucks for me, too. Mm. Yeah. You kind of brought this I'm badness on me as well. Thanks. That's all right. I feel like the event number two over there is going to just kind of sit there. Um, I don't know. I might actually, yeah, probably. Um, why would I only want to move two? This, those are worse when you have two moves. Yeah, they are. That sucks for me. Well, it's also going to suck for me, like I just said, too, because I have to deal with it as well. Well, boo. Now I don't know what I want to do. Cause I don't want just one resource. I wouldn't get one resource. You would get... I would still get two. Yes. But I want to move. But I don't want to move just two dudes. That one you would just move two dudes. Huh? That one you would just move two dudes. I know. Um, all right, well, we're going to, Jolly Man cards. Get a card here. Get two. Oh, a cart. I do, oh, sorry, I thought there were two moons there. Okay, oh, an ox. Oxen, sorry. What do they do? Gather from one additional hex. Oh, wow. And Those the cart are... may move two additional tribe members. Those are really nice. They are nice. Oh, and just to, for everybody to know, we took one card out for a two-player game called Pottery. Add two additional tribe members. So in higher player counts, that would be in the game. Okay. And then I'm going to gather. Because I still get to gather. Yeah, that really sucks for me a lot more than for you. Possibly. So, well, you have that card that lets you get... It still makes oh, it just I still two get by two. One. For me, it's going to be two by one. Guaranteed. You know, only put, if you draw... Only if you roll a mode. No. Even if I put a... Oh, yeah, 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 right. Yeah, you're right. Good. I know. Great. I know I'm good. I'm right. Well, that's why... Okay. One additional resource per hex. So I still get the two. Oh, did you want to... What? You could have discarded that mountain one if you wanted to. Because you have the one village. And drawn another one. (laughs) 
I can discard it? Yeah, because you have a village. So you put it on the bottom of your deck, and then you would draw another card instead, because that's the village special ability. Yeah, I do. Trees! Well, at least you're getting them out of your deck. <laughs> okay. Uh, what the hell was I doing? Oh. I don't know. I get trees, and I get three of those. My turn? No, not quite. Okay. And I should probably take Did you take stone? No, I didn't. I took trees. Okay. I don't care about the stone right now. I probably should take the stone, but whatever. No, it's more important to build a village, I'd say. Um. Well, I'm going between that and these things here. But the village is probably more important. You don't have enough guys. Don't worry about my guys. Ah, two moons. Hooray for nothing. Oh, that really hurts. That really... Yay! Sucks. Everything I do is going to be Everything. a bad one. That's good for me. All right. Well, best case scenario, though, I'm going to do... Oh, I get two points, though, for having two villages. And I'm going to do this. So I would draw one card, but I'm going to discard two of these cards because I just don't see them happening. And so I'm going to get to draw three cards, which is still decent. All right, so we got a horse. You can move two hexes. Uh, we have spread across the land. Occupate eight hexes with your tribe. That's a lot. Uh, and majority in five continuous hexes, which that one... You're Pretty close. Yeah, but I don't have enough dudes. I kept so many dudes here. I don't know why I kept all my dudes there. So yeah, I'm not a you big fan. You gotta move of them. them. Yeah, whatever. You can do that. They can move there. Um. Let's see. We're gonna go ahead and gather. God. So I get one stone and. Oh, wait. Oh, oh. So the gathering. Boom. Stone. I get these two, too. That actually really helps me out a lot. And I'm going to gain one fish. So that actually really helps me a good deal. Thank you, random event. Uh, so now, resolve conflicts, no conflicts. Build. I'm actually going to build this bow and this horse because of those extra stone I got. Those extra stone coming up big. Okay, so you get two more points? Yes, I do. And now, I can move mm, you're more. You're more than halfway there. And I got a bow. I think I'll play some catch up here. Play some mustard, it's not going to help. You... <laughs> dad jokes for days. Terrible. <laughs> Babe, you had dad jokes before you were a dad. Before you knew I was a dad. No, before you were a dad. Allegedly. Wait, wait, no. no allegedly, it's that... not funny anymore. <laughs> you know that, right? <laughs> All right, well, it's That's your an turn. inside joke. Let's roll the dice. Okay. Well, there's also no the insinuation. allegedly it happened. Also, when I said allegedly, I didn't realize it, but there's this insinuation that that would mean that those kids aren't mine. <laughs> 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 so it's like a double, <laughs> double dip in there. I didn't catch that. Now you did. <laughs> yep. I threw it right in there. Let's see, still recording? Yeah, 30 minute mark. Not bad. Moon and sun. And all my suns will go away. <laughs> Fabulous. Why don't you give me one of those nice moons you got there? I. That moon's gonna I want to hear it. 
my last turn was actually was pretty good because <laughs> that stupid stone event. Did you get your one point or your two points for your villages? Oh no. You don't have to if you don't want to. Too bad. <laughs> I feel like the boom is a little over dramatic. <laughs> boom. Oh, why did I do that? I wanna Nice. Oh, you're the worst human being on the planet, dear, and I hate you. What? Don't worry about it. Just take your turn. <laughs> okay. Um. Ugh. You didn't roll doubles, did you? No, because one was a sun. Yeah. I like those random events. What are those other? So I only get one resource, right? Uh, no, because you have the thing. No, I know, but instead of three, I'm going to get two, because I, I get one resource per square. Yes, so you're only going to get two resources. So I'm going to get... Okay. So I'm back to normal. Oh, would you... Yeah, it'd be nice if you could get it. So you get three by three, you could get nine resources. Okay, this still works. Installing. Alright, you building? Yeah, I'm gonna do. What's the cart do? Uh, move two additional tribe members. Mm, that's pretty nice. Um, Alright. Okay for that too? No. Well, good. For me. I should have done that one instead if I had paid attention. Oh well. And you get, did you gain your one point for building it? For your cart? No. Alright. So I gained two points for villages. Boom, boom. Gosh, I can't get ahead of you. Uh, kind of what I'm trying to do here. Yeah, really? It's <laughs> kind of my strategy. You think? <laughs> Um, all right, so we are going to go ahead and, yeah, we'll, go, we'll move, and is that what I want to do? Yeah, so I have the horse, so I can move two hexes. Oh, I could have paid a thing to get a car. Do you want to still do that? And then I'm also going to grow. Which lets me put three guys. So I'll go one, two, three. Oh, well, that's the one you're looking for. Well, I guess you That's said. the one I need. All right. So, that was my turn. I growed and I moved, which now means I have the majority in five continuous hexes. So, I have accomplished this goal right here, and I get two more points. Crap. And, I'm going to go ahead and donate that. And you turn. And, and you, you get a goal. And you share. Yep. You get a goal. Which I might be able to complete. Draw one additional lead card. Oh, that's pretty good. But no, I can't complete it. Yet. Okay. A moon and a nothing. What you gonna do? Remove 
Legends or Guys First in Conflicts? Uh, simultaneously. I have a... So it's whoever it's majority wins. Yes. That's right. That's what it was. And my bow, it has a specific section of the rules. If the current player has the bow development card, they are, so it's only if it's on your turn and you have the conflict. So that's what it means by offensively. So if you, if this was your turn and you caused a conflict, then it, w it wouldn't happen. We would, I wouldn't get to use my bow because I'd be caught off guard thematically, I would assume. Okay. Okay. And you did roll wild. So doubles. No, okay. no, no doubles. I'm gonna see what the rest of those events are when we get done. So you get two dudes, three dudes. Three dudes. If I can put four guys on there, I'm going to lose that one. Did you get your two points? No, I didn't. Thank you. <sighs> oh, it's going down. Maybe. Unless she moves. No, I want to put this one over here. Next action? Yep, I figured. It clicked. Whoops. So you get to move two of your dudes. No, I get to move four if I want. Oh, stupid cards. <laughs> So you know a conflict is not happening there, right? Huh? This will not cause a conflict. There's five people there. No, it's, it's six, I believe. No, it was five. Well, let's consult the rules. Conflict occurs in any hex or hexes that have more than five tribe members. What are you making the face for? I just helped <laughs> you out. You're welcome. I thought it was five. I remembered the five. Four. All right, so uh, now we resolve conflicts. But I have this secret card right here that kills all you guys. No, it doesn't. That's not a thing. And you can't use it anyway. It's in your gold deck. All right, uh, so which which one would you like to do first? Not that I Does it matter? No. So how this works is we both take them off at the same time, and she wins that conflict. She also wins this conflict. And... And I've got majority in three forest Texas. Oh, whoa. Whoa. What? So she completes that goal, but can... No, I don't complete the others. Okay. Uh, but I will contribute my fish. Get a... To get a goal. So if you can complete this, you win. It's three points. No, it's majority in three ways. Yeah, it's get out of here. Alright. Should have uh, held on to the one that was the mountains. I think I've got this. So I get two points for the two villages. And then if I gather, I can get a fish and a stone, which means I'll be able to build that at the end of my turn. Oh. And mysticism. Which makes you win. 15. Alright, so that uh, obviously I just cut to the chase there. Didn't do the second action because it wasn't necessary. But that was Rise of Tribes. We will flip around the camera and give you our thoughts on it.
All right, so. Oh, oh my god. Check my chicken. So many, yeah, I smelled chicken. This is highly unprofessional. All right, so uh, my wife is checking the chicken. That is not a euphemism for anything, aside from checking chicken. Uh, at least as far as I know. Let's set up this camera and give you my thoughts, our thoughts. I'll start off with my thoughts while she is upstairs on uh, Five Tribes. Not Five Tribes. That's that's a different game. Great game. Really enjoy that game. Uh, but really bad at this. That was Rise of Tribes, upcoming one from Breaking Games. Uh, first initial thoughts on the game. That's your first time playing, my first time playing. What do you think? I liked it. It's fun. You yeah. don't necessarily have to think. You guys scoot over. I'm a terrible at this cool camera thing. You don't necessarily have to think. Put that on the box. No. <laughs> you didn't let me finish the sentence. That's not what I meant. I, I'm not a big strategy person. I don't like a lot of strategy in, in a game. It, it hurts my head. Okay. Uh, so Brain I burning. don't, I don't, there's not, I mean, there is strategy here. There's definitely strategy, but there's not necessarily like hurting my head strategy. Yeah, it's very straightforward. Uh, it's 30 to 60 minutes, which I definitely fits that time frame. I think we would finish uh, a little bit quicker. You know, now that we know how to play. Right. And uh, so I'd say 30, 60 minutes probably is the reasonable time frame. I also really enjoyed the game. Uh, I really it's liked pretty, how the... It's pretty quick. I like how the dice placement worked. I thought that was really neat, how it would fluctuate. I thought it was going to be a much bigger deal than it was, and it's not, because you can get those cards that kind of mitigate that, which I liked. I liked how everything seemed pretty valuable. You know, spreading out seemed valuable. Building villages seemed really valuable. Getting the cards... Like the pottery and the basketry and the carts, all that seemed really valuable. Uh, I liked how there was goals and also technology that you could get. I love games with technology where I can do something that you can't do. I thought that was really neat. Uh, I'm excited to try it with the asymmetrical powers as well. I'm excited to have my own little quirk in there. Uh, artwork, you know, I think it looks okay on the board. You know, it's nothing to shout home about, but it's still... I like the it's artwork. It's not bad artwork. Yeah, I, I like the artwork in the game. It doesn't convert too much, so much to the board, but you know, it's a typical meeples on a hexes kind of game. But I did enjoy it. I liked how there was resource management, action selection. I mean, there's a lot of different little moving parts in this game. Uh, so overall, uh, would this be one? You say you enjoy it, but would this be one you would actually want to play again? Because there's a big difference between enjoying it and wanting to play it again. Yes, yes, I would play it again. Okay. Likewise, you know, I'm going to review it, so obviously I'm going to play it again. But I'm actually looking forward to playing it again, playing it with more players, uh, seeing how complex works. Because I really, you know, I think in a four-player game, if you could get that bow, that would be really fun to just kind of run around and screw people over and steal their <laughs> villages. Because that's what I thought you were going to do in that. I really thought you were thinking of a way that you could come over to take that village. Because that was how I was getting getting the two getting the win hopefully was getting those was villages getting the villages yeah. so i thought you were about to march into my village and take it out my head never went there yeah <laughs> mine did hey, obviously <laughs> uh so yeah that is rise of tribes coming from breaking games i would imagine you know maybe origins gen con sometimes like that so far after one gameplay definitely a thumbs up from the both of us be sure to stay tuned for a review in the next couple weeks of this as well and as always thanks for your time youtube oh how was the chicken the chicken's fine. All right. Everyone wanted to know. <laughs>